do in this reaction? What we're going to do in this reaction is we're going to take a couple of these gummy bears and we are going to use the sugar in them as our source of fuel for our combustion reaction. So, sugar is C12H22O11. That's table sugar. And we're going to react that, sorry, we're going to react that with oxygen to generate CO2 and water. So those are going to be our two products in this reaction. So this is going to be the overall chemical reaction. We can go ahead and balance this equation. Okay. I have 12 oxygens here. So what do I need here? 12. I need 12 of these. Okay. I have 22 hydrogens. So what do I need here? 11. Okay. And now that gets me how many oxygens on that side? 12 times 2 is 24 plus 11 is 35. Okay. Put a what? Well, there's, there's 24 oxygens here and then there's 11, so that makes 35 total. Oh, that's right, I do have 11. Very good. Okay, we'll add it down. Okay, so 12 there, okay? So the 12 there, and that's our balance equation, okay? So this is our balance equation uh, for today's reaction. So, in order to do this reaction, what we need to do is we need to generate an oxygen-rich environment. So the first thing I need to do in, do in order to do this reaction is I'm going to decompose potassium chloride by adding heat. So when I decompose potassium chloride, what are my products going to be? Not CO2. It's, it's a, think, what's the oxygen's one? Okay. And what's the other one? Potassium chloride. Okay, this is the reverse of the type 5 synthesis reaction we talked about. When we take a metallic chloride plus oxygen to make potassium chloride. So this is the reverse of that. So we're going to do the reverse. Okay, we're going to take the potassium chloride, we're going to break it down, and we're going to turn it into oxygen. Okay, so in order to do that, I've set it up over here. Should I come over here? Come over so you can come closer. Take probably about five minutes to de completely decompose. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, arms, don't worry. So as a, so basically what we're doing is we're letting that decompose. That's going to take a little while to completely decompose. And as we're doing that, I'm going to prepare the gummy bear. Okay, so, so now that this is basically all melted, it's going to eventually start, it's eventually going to start decomposing, and when it starts to decompose, I'll see a white smoke coming up, uh, starting to form, and we're going to test it for the presence of oxygen. Does anyone remember from our types of reactions lab what to test for the presence of oxygen is? Right, you see if it reignites. Okay, so we're gonna, you can see there's a little bit of smoke coming out the top. So, as this thing is starting to really bubble, I gotta get this to burn. Okay. So we'll see if this reignites. Okay, so there is oxygen in there. So now I have an oxygen rich atmosphere. I need lights. Okay. And what we'll do is drop this.
Thank you, Swami. Okay, so that that is a combustion reaction, and again, our fuel was sugar in that case. Okay, so when you talk about things like spontaneous combustion, you know, if you eat a lot of sugar, I mean, that could potentially happen to you. Can I stop? Yeah, you can stop. Okay, so.